Today, we're doing a review of the Graphene X Limitless Backpack. And we're gonna find out exactly how limitless it actually is. In this review, I'm gonna break down this bag, go over the pros and the cons. A zippered pocket. Two water bottle pockets, shoe compartment on the bottom. No, no bag that I've ever seen has this, which is a bit vague. And if this is not the bag for you, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of the video where I'll make a few alternative bag recommendations that might better suit your needs. But first things first, let's bring you over to the review desk. Come on. All right, let's kick this off by talking about the gist of the Graphene X Limitless Backpack 25 liter. This is the part of the review where I try to capture the essence of this bag in, in like two to four minutes. And this is a tougher bag to capture its essence with because there's a lot going on. In essence, Graphene X, the brand, is known for infusing graphene into their fabrics. They started off by making kick-ass jackets and pants and shirts, and now they moved on to the world of carry, which is my world. I reviewed their shirts and pants and jacket before. I was a big fan of them. And then when they infused the graphene into this polyester into the backpack, I was like, I, I gotta see this. And I'll tell you what I think about it in the next chapter. But this bag is not without features. Some of them quite unique. We've got a shoe compartment on the bottom, an admin compartment with tons of organization. Oh, and also that this high vis interior, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. I'll give you my thoughts in just a minute. A built-in external carry system, which is ideal for a sports ball, like a soccer ball or a basketball or a bike helmet. One two water bottle holders and one, two insulated side pockets and one, two tech compartments that are big enough for a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And then finally a hip belt that can actually detach to become a sling or a fanny pack. It currently comes in one graphene infused color, black. The size is 25 liters. For me, 25 liters is a bit big for everyday carry. Pretty good weekend travel size, but it also depends on how much gear you carry. Some people with all the tech gear that they're carrying these days, they like 25, 26 liters. So it just kind of depends on your needs. The dimensions are 19 inches height, 12 inches width, and a depth of around five inches. Now on the website, it says it's 2.8 pounds. I got a scale, let's put that to the test. My scale says 3.8 pounds. Let's uh, use the backup scale to double check. This is scale number one. Let's try scale number two. And this one says 3.72 pounds. And it should be noted, that I weighed it without the sling slash waist harness system on it. Ultimately, the scales don't lie. One said 3.7 pounds, one said 3.8 pounds. Maybe Graphene next can clear this up in the comment section below, but this bag is definitely closer to four pounds than it is to three pounds. The bag retains its shape pretty well. This is uh, what it looks like when it's empty. And this is what it looks like when it's out in the field. For reference, I'm five foot eight and our media manager, Margaret, is five foot two. Graphene X offers a warranty for the usable lifespan of the product, which is a bit vague. So definitely check out the wording of the warranty before you make a purchase. And for all that, the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack runs around 300 USD. And if at any point in this review, you're just totally digging its unique feature set and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. But that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best damn bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack. First up, branding. A lot of bags have like a big old logo slapped somewhere on here and Graphene X doesn't, which is greatly appreciated. You've just got the branding on the side right here. And I think that's all. Very subtle, very cool. But now let's talk about one of the most unique selling points of this bag, which is the fabric. Allow me to set up my super cool microscope and take a look because this fabric is a 100% graphene integrated 900D polyester. Polyester is a very common material on backpacks. A lot of hardcore backpack enthusiasts prefer nylon these days because nylon's a bit more weather resistant, albeit heavier. But what Graphene X has done here is infused graphene into the material. And I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I don't know how good that is. Is this material water resistant? Absolutely. But the level of its water resistance is something that I'm just not gonna really be able to comment on confidently. But if you're like even more into fabrics and materials than I am and you have some insider knowledge on how weather resistant and abrasion resistant this graphene infusion fabric actually is, please let us know in the comments below. I wanna hear what you gotta say. We've got a little external lash point right here, good for carrying things externally on the bag. And then below that, we have one of the more interesting features, which is this built-in net. 
If you're a baller, right? You're shooting hoops on the weekends and you need somewhere to carry a basketball. Like this is awesome. Very few, ba no, no bag that I've ever seen has this. And it's niche, but like I said, if it's in your use case, this is going to be invaluable for you. Also for you cyclists out there, you clip it into place, you pop your helmet on, and then when you don't need it, stuff it back in, out of sight, out of mind. From there, we got one, two front pockets. Neither of these pockets have any additional organization. They're just kind of throw-alls. And both of the pockets are protected with these YKK weather-resistant zippers. For me, these pockets are great for things that you want quicker access to, like your over-the-head headphones, maybe a cell phone. Might even be able to throw a notebook in there. Let's test it out. Notebook, moleskin on the bottom. Ooh, perfect fit. My Sony XMH5s. Let's see if they'll both fit. A little tight, but still works. iPhone 13 on the top. And then we also have a key leash. The key leash gets the job done, but I could have used a bit more slack, therefore making it easier to open and close the door. And then for the other front pocket, we have the admin compartment, which opens clamshell, which is quite nice. And you can see on the front flap, we have this large mesh compartment. And then on the opposite side, we have a smaller mesh pocket and one, two, three, four, five pockets, three pen pockets, and a zippered pocket. Let's sort of pack it out so you can see how it works in real time. In this section, I'm gonna load it up with a compressible tote from Day Owl, umbrella, charging cables, a tripod, big chunky external battery from Exter, sunglasses, protein bar, some pens, and my hero clip. In the bottom mesh pocket, I'm gonna throw the tote and an umbrella and a tripod. Let's get weird with it. And then all the smaller bits of gear we're gonna put in these smaller pockets. Charging cables, protein bar, hero clip, one, two, three pens. And then in this pocket, we have like a microfiber lining, very soft to the touch, anti-scratch properties, which makes it a great spot for your sunglasses. And then on the uh, bigger side, we're gonna throw my big old laptop charger. And you can see right here what this admin compartment is all about, organization. This compartment sort of eliminates the use or the need, I would say, for a tech pouch, right? Because you can just kind of throw all your tech stuff here, therefore making more space in the main compartment. And it gives you also semi-fast access to all these bits of gear. And one quick aside, let's talk about this lining, because like I said, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. For me, I respect that Graphene X tried to do something different by adding a different color that you don't really see in a lot of other bags. And it is definitely high viz, which makes it easier to find your gear, especially on those, you know, dark nights. But also on the flip side, I think it might be a little too loud for some people and a color that not everyone's gonna like. And I think it kind of gives the bag a little bit of a cheaper look. But ultimately, that's gonna come down to your personal taste. And I wanna hear your taste and what you think about this color. Let me know down there in the comments below. I'm really curious to see, like, does it look cheap to you? Am I, am I missing something here? Let me know in the comments below. And I know that it's not easy to try and find something original that also has functionality. And I know this because, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually building my own backpack. That's right, not only am I reviewing bags, I'm building my own and I'm documenting the entire process here on the YouTube channel, building it in public. So if you wanna see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground to launch, and you want to vote on some of the key features, be sure to check out the second link in the description below. That link will tell you more about the Building a Backpack project, where we are, the things that you can vote on. We're doing a lot of votes for features and stuff. It's really cool. And like I said, all the information is available with the second link in the description. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the middle of the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack. On the bottom, we have these little rubber stud things. They kind of help the bag stand up kind of, but also not because of the shoe compartment, but it will help with some abrasion resistance on the bottom of the bag. And speaking of the shoe compartment, we got two PU coated YKK zippers that gets you in there. Graphene X does not specify what size shoe fits in this compartment. So I got my size nine Air Forces from Nike. Let's see if they fit. Yeah, very nicely. Zip it on closed. Very cool selling point if you're looking for a gym backpack that can also handle your tech gear and a little bit of everything. And when the shoes are in there, it definitely helps make the bag stand stronger. And I freaking love a self-standing bag. I love it. Two water bottle pockets. Let's test their capacity. I got a 17 ounce water bottle from Lark and a one liter water bottle from Yeti. The 17 ounce fits with plenty of room to spare. You can see we got some elasticity right here on the water bottle holder, which helps expand it so you can fit a larger water bottle. How large though? Let's find out. Will the one liter Yeti fit? Ooh, it absolutely will. And one other thing to know about the water bottle holder is that we have these compression straps, which help to A, compress the bag, but B, you could use it to help keep the water bottle in place. So it's nice and tight. Ooh, upside down water bottle test. Not a lot of bags past that. Very good. Very good. 
On the top, we got a beefy top handle, pretty comfy, really nice material underneath, gives a little sense of satisfaction every time you touch it, and plenty of space to be able to put your hand in and grab it. Now, before we move to the main compartment, let's talk about another one of the more interesting features of this bag, which is the two insulated side pockets which yet again is like showcasing why this bag, it's, just, it's a really interesting bag because there's some things about it I really don't like and I wonder if the price point is worth it. But like there's also things in here that are not available anywhere else in the market. So like if an insulated side pocket, no, if two insulated side pockets like speaks to you, you're like, dude, I keep my coffee hot and my freaking, you know, my water cold. Use these uh, water bottle holders for an umbrella and maybe a battery or something. This is the bag of my dreams. Very unique, something I've never seen before on a backpack. Ooh, this bag has a lot. All right, main compartment. We got YKK zippers, smaller YKK zippers. I don't know what size they are, but they're pretty tiny for a main compartment. And then we're in, and that is high vis, baby. One thing to know about the shoe compartment is it definitely eats into the main compartment. It, there's no way around that, but you can see here how much space it actually takes. Now I've gone ahead and removed the shoes so we can get a better idea of the capacity of this main compartment. And it's got a bit of organization and some features as well. On the front flap, we have this zippered compartment, which has a really cool expansion feature. We've got some Velcro here, which enables you to attach other products from Graphene X's modular ecosystem, such as their tech pouch and shirt master. A top zippered pocket that goes all the way down. And this little clip right here, which I assume is for the hydration bladder, which you'll notice actually peeks in from right here. Hey, hey guys, where's the party? and a little mesh side pocket. Now, like I said, 25 liters is a bit too big for everyday carry for my needs. So I'm gonna pack this out like I'm going for a little weekend trip to, let's say, Taiwan. We're going to Taiwan, let's go. Zalong Bao for everyone. I got a packing cube from Air, a smaller packing cube from Air. This is a week's worth of clothes. A hoodie in case it gets cold on my flight. Dop kit for the bathroom needs and a book. Packing cube first, fits really nicely in this bag. And then we can go ahead and throw the dop kit and the second packing cube right on top of that. Hoodie, you go there. And then in this flat pocket, go ahead and throw my book, a little light reading. And like I said, it's nice to have this expansion feature, really nice execution there. I like what they did. And see, I can close it shut. And I'm gonna say, yeah, for a 25 liter backpack, this can pack a punch. It kind of feels more like a 28 liter. Taiwan, here we come. But not yet though, we gotta finish the review first. That should be it for the middle. Let's go ahead and wrap this up by talking about the back of the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack. And we're gonna start with one of the most unique selling points of the bag, which is not one, but two tech compartments. That's right, they do not lead to the same pocket. They are separate. And I gotta admit, I respond to every comment on this channel and I often get asked, Aaron, what's the best backpack for two laptops? And I never have an answer, but now I might have my two laptop backpack ultimate recommendation, or will I? Each side is supposed to be big enough to fit a MacBook Pro 16 inch. But one thing I'm not crazy about with these laptop compartments is how like loose this fabric is. It's kind of just like all over the place. It's not a very tight fit, which makes me a little cautious to throw my laptop in there. But on the flip side, the material is very fine microfiber and my 13 inch MacBook Pro is in there. Zip it on closed and it feels good. You'll also notice that it has sort of a false bottom, which means that if the bag hits the ground, oh yeah, the laptop is nowhere near the bottom. It's like right here. That's a really great false bottom. A little extra security for your laptop. So on the other side, let's throw a tablet. I've got the Samsung S9 FE. And I'm not sure how good I feel about this. Now the other laptop is, is here. So the other MacBook Pro is a key. And this thing is decked out with gear right now. So trying to slide that in. It's kind of weird with that excess fabric and it, it doesn't feel amazing, I will admit. Now let's say though, you don't want to pack this thing out as much. You're not going for a weekend trip in Taiwan. It's just for your everyday carry. So you got less gear in there. Then the dual tech system is a bit better. They're sort of competing with space for each other, just given the construction of this feature set. I don't know about two 16 inch MacBook Pros, but if you're doing a MacBook or a laptop with a tablet and the bag's not too packed out, it can work, but you might run into some problems if this bag is really decked out with a bunch of gear, especially that main compartment. On the top, we have a small little AirTag holder, luggage pass-through holder, which is great because it allows you to carry the bag standing upright as opposed to laying horizontally. Big fan of that. I also like the ventilated mesh they use on the back panel and there's like these like rivets 
is cuts in there, which is gonna help enhance the breathability of the back of the bag. The shoulder straps feel a little bit on the cheaper side to me, almost like a little cardboardy, not quite cardboardy, it's not maybe fair, but it's, it's, it's stiffer and there's not a ton of padding on there, but the ventilated mesh will help with breathability. Adjustable sternum strap is always appreciated as it helps to redistribute the weight from your lower back to your torso. And we've got an external clip right here made from Duraflex. They make the best hardware in the game. And much appreciated, we have a little web holder right here, AKA a dangle stopper, because there's nothing worse than buying a $300 backpack and then just having like these little things like flopping all over the place. Hashtag stop the dangle. Now, before we jump into the comfort, let's talk about this last feature, which is a sling that actually attaches or sort of weaves its way in to the back of the bag, which then creates a hip belt. I got mixed feelings on this. On the pro side, you gotta love a product that's doing two things in one, right? So let's say you are doing that weekend in Taiwan, gonna get some beef noodle soup, you gotta take a 20 minute walk ahead of you, and you know, you don't wanna take this big with you. Just slide this on out and kaboom, you got a sling or a fanny. It's just got one compartment and the same high-vis interior lining. So, you know, in theory, it, it's cool, right? Two products in one. You just got a free sling, dude. But it's important to keep in mind that with any product that tries to do two things in one, you're always going to have compromises to make that happen. For instance, just, you know, straight up, this sling will never be as good as like a dedicated sling. Like, take a look at this, the Air City Sling. That sling is a masterpiece of a sling. Next level comfort, accessibility, durability, all that, right? This sling, in contrast, it, you know, it gets the job done. It's slingy, but it's designed to fit here and to also be a waist belt, so, you know, compromises. And then the other compromise is just as a waist belt, it's not the greatest waist belt. It's, it's not designed just to be a waist belt. It's designed to be a sling that can also be a waist belt, that can also be a sling. So, you know, pros and cons, anytime a company tries to do this, I commend the innovation, but the execution is just something you have to be aware of as you're weighing that out. Okay, this thing is fully packed out. Let's uh, take it outside and give it the good old comfort test. Aaron, 20 minutes from now, what do you think about the comfort of this bag? Go. So, been outside wearing this bag, fully packed out for around 20 minutes now. For the comfort, I get the job done. The rivets in the back padding give a nice little sense of comfort and ventilation, but I'm not as crazy about the shoulder straps. They're definitely dense and like kind of robust, but in a way that feels a little more maybe cheap or cardboardy. Sometimes though with shoulder straps like this, you gotta break them in over time. So I will give them the benefit of the doubt there. But yeah, for comfort, like I said, average, it gets the job done. Let's take it back up to the office. There you have it. Moving on to the next section, let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack. Pro number one is the very unique feature of the dual thermal side compartments. Pro number two, I do like the organization of the front admin compartment and the fact that it's clamshell opening. And pro number three is if you're a cyclist, this built-in external carrying net system is a really, really cool feature. But every bag has its cons and I've got some with <laughs> with the Graphene X Limitless 25 liter backpack, and here they are. Con number one for me is I'm personally not a fan of the color of this lining. Are you? I, I need to hear your thoughts, please. I think it's gonna be controversial. I wanna hear what you gotta say. Let me know in the comments below. Con number two is going to be like that looseness of the microfiber lining in the laptop compartment. And con number three is while the shoulder straps aren't necessarily uncomfortable, they have sort of a hard cardboard feel, which doesn't feel the most luxurious at this price point. But hey, let's be honest, if you're still watching this, it's probably because the unique features of this bag are really worth it for you. And if that's the case, and you're thinking about making a purchase, just a gentle reminder that we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description below. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. It's a win-win. We greatly appreciate it, thank you. But there's also a chance that if you're still watching this review, it's to hear what my alternative recommendations are. And I'll tell you over at the backpack rack yonder, let's walk. All right, so if you're still not feeling this guy, I got some alternative recommendations. The first one of which is the Mouse Commuter Extreme Backpack. This guy right here. This is a great bag for you if you are interested in the Limitless bag because of how protective it is for your tech gear. Mouse is a brand that like specializes in protection for tech gear. It's actually a really cool bag. It's got its own set of pros and cons. And if you wanna know what those are, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. All right, but if that's not suiting your fancy, my next alternative suggestion 
is this guy right here, which is the Black Ember Citadel R3. You'll notice it kind of has a similar aesthetic to the Graphene X Limitless, but in my opinion, it uses much better materials and it should be significantly more water resistant. It's a great minimalist bag, 25 liters, and to learn more about it, check the description below for a link to our full review. And last but not least, my third alternative recommendation is this bag right here, which is the Air City Pack Pro. Again, similar aesthetic, but as opposed to Graphene X being a new backpack company, Air has been making some of the best freaking backpacks in the world for a very long time. And the City Pack Pro could be their flagship everyday carry. It's 24 liters, it's got a cult-like following. And to learn more about it, simply watch this video right here. If you got any questions about any backpack, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.